What's up, Anthony, and welcome back to the channel. That just sounds so funny to say. At a moment like this, we just spent our night in the bathroom, in the bathtub. A tornado hit our house last night, and we're just now like getting up and going to go see what it did to our neighborhood. Oh, there's trees down everywhere, our fence is down. Did he get any damage? Yeah, we're good. I just noticed some shingles on the ground, though. I don't know whose they are, but glad you're okay. We're gonna go take a look. It started happening. I started thinking about the bigger trees in our yard. Yeah, I know. I got scared. Of them. Whoa, that them. whole fence is down. Their entire backyard is destroyed. Crazy, everyone just rebuilt from Hurricane Michael and then like a lot of stuff got destroyed again. Guys, that palm tree is on there. Yeah, guys, House. did you see those little trees on the road? Yeah, I did. Look at the, look at the mailbox. All of the roads are blocked off. Hello. What a whirlwind of events that have happened. Like, I just have no words. I literally woke up in the middle of the night to an alarm, a tornado warning alarm. Actually, that night I had taken a Unisom and B6 mixture to help with nausea for like the first time. And so when I woke up, I literally felt like I was in a dream. I felt like a zombie. I was like, what is going on? I don't normally take those kinds of medicines, so I feel like it affects me like 10 times more. And so I was just like a zombie. Woke up to this tornado warning and we get the kids in the bath. We hurry up, scrounge for like some pillows, blankets and whatever. And people were asking on my Instagram like why you get into a bath with a tornado and it's because it's like the safest area. Like our bathroom doesn't have windows and it's blocked by the most walls. And so when you're in a tornado, like you want to be in like, you know, the safest area. And so that's why most people go to the bathtub. So that's where we were. I don't really know how, but we kept the kids happy for most of that time and while was just eating it up he loved learning about the weather when we were watching like the weather app while we were in the bathtub the power went out and then came back on and then went out and came back on luckily we weren't stuck without power for a long time we were so blessed you guys like all the people around us had so much damage right across the block all the homes were destroyed like if you guys saw the footage that i inserted it was just devastating and it sucks because my town literally just went through hurricane michael and they just rebuilt everything and so it's just really really sad i feel so grateful that just our chicken goat fence came down and like our fence kind of broke a little and a few trees came down and that's it because we literally the tornado came right over our house i don't know how that was the only damage that happened but the sound of that tornado was so scary and might i add garrick wasn't even in our bathroom he was going to the bathroom in the other bathroom where there's a window might i add i was freaking out i was texting him and i was like and i was on one percent didn't charge the night before Anyway, so I'm like texting Garrick like, come on, and he's in the other bathroom while the tornado came. And so I was with the kids, it was stressful. It was so stressful, and to keep the kids happy, like while I was stressed, it was a lot. And I am still recovering from that. It is 2 p.m. and I'm like just now getting up and getting things going. I'm cutting back on caffeine. I normally have like some sort of caffeine. I feel like it helps with my nausea, but I really don't want to be caffeinated this pregnancy, so I'm having non-caffeinated. I know soda's still like not good, but 
you know what baby steps anyway i'm gonna do my makeup today because i really feel not feel i have not gotten out of bed y'all in over a week i get out of bed for the simplest things like i get up out of bed i pee i brush my teeth i go back to bed and then i get up five minutes later and i throw up and like i do that all throughout the day and it's so exhausting it's comical honestly i've contemplated so many nights to wake up garrick and have him bring the love sack into the bathroom so i can just sleep in the bathroom so i don't have to keep getting up it's that bad mm -hmm. garrick's being a freaking trooper though <laughs> I feel so bad for him. I really haven't been able to pick up the slack on anything that I normally do. Like, I'm not... Guys, when I tell you I am literally sleeping, puking, sleeping, puking, that's all I'm... That's all I'm able to do. And I did try that Unisom um, B6 mixture, and it does help a little bit. I did take it last night so that I could, like, feel better and function a little bit better today. I'm not saying that I haven't thrown up. But it makes me tired. <laughs> Hard to function when you're, like, sleepy. You know? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just trying to make the best out of it. I know that it's just a season and it's gonna go fast. Oh my gosh, I brought my chia seed pudding and I completely forgot about it. But yeah, that's an update on the tornado situation. I was just talking to my friend Kaylee who moved to Florida and she's like, Is this normal? for tornadoes <laughs> and i feel like they're not really normal in florida but i was like you know what is though hurricanes those do be happening it's not like the greatest place for someone to live that has weather fear like me the only other place i'd move is hawaii and i'd have to move my mom with me so that's really not in the question right now putting on makeup today has really made me feel a lot better already I feel like I've literally been a zombie. Looked like a zombie. Poor Garrick. He can't sleep at night unless he sleeps in another room because I'm like up so much throughout the night. I feel so bad for him. But like I said, this can't last forever, you know? One thing I am scared about though, not gonna lie, I had HG with Wilder and that's what I think I have this time around. Um, And Wilder was my hardest baby. He had colic. It was hard. He was a hard baby. And I'm just really, really hoping and praying this baby does not have colic because that is seriously the worst and so traumatizing for both mother and baby. I'm just praying it'll all work out. I'm over it. I'm so over it. I thought I was gonna have a productive day. That did not happen. Um. <laughs> I cannot go on like this, you guys. Like, something has to change. I'm getting like so discouraged. I ordered Panera bread because I was like, oh, I might be able to keep that down because it's soup. It was so good, but did not sit well. Just like everything else. I wanted to spend a thousand hours outside this year. And we are not off to a good start. I'm currently in the pickup line at school to pick up Hazel because she gets out earlier than Wilder. I promised Hazel that I would come pick her up today. So I drug myself out of bed. <laughs> I have to carry like bags with me anywhere I go because everywhere I go I get sick <laughs> I'll literally be driving down the road now and this happened to me this is just like such a oh this is such deja vu that's what I would have to do with Wilder I'd literally be driving down the road and like all of a sudden anyway we're picking up Hazel with a happy face I'm sitting here watching the Just Trish podcast with Brooke and I look down at my phone and let me just give you my POV I have not shaved <laughs> I am a literal walking zombie wolverine. I'm so, so, so done with it. I would rather do anything than lay in bed another day and puke. Any of you guys with HG, like, just comment below. I don't even care for, like, the tips and tricks because none of them work. Just let me know. Like, I'm not chilling alone right now. I would love to just be on, like, a group FaceTime of, like, people that are going through a similar situation because I feel so lonely. Okay. I'm gonna pull it together. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Hazel. I missed you. Did you have a good day? Okay, we just got home. I took a shower. I decided I'm gonna do a little self care that I haven't done in weeks because I'm just not feeling good about myself lately. My skin has been so bad. I'm usually one that, like, I cannot go to bed without washing my face. And I haven't even really been doing that. So my face is just so out of whack. Maybe if I do this, I'll feel better. I just got a bunch of new stuff in PR, but I just don't know what to use. I'm definitely going to use this drying lotion because I have so many breakouts right now. I heard someone on TikTok say that they use this when their face is mad at them. The Mario Badescu facial spray. Mine's disgusting, but... My face is very mad. So let's see. I'm gonna try this clarifying serum. I kind of need a miracle at this point, though. Oh, that kind of burns. Is that good? Oh, yeah, I can't put that on. Oh my gosh, certain smells I just cannot. What mm. is that? It's some face stuff. Water cream. Can I put some on? No, this is for adults, baby. Is it gonna burn? No, it might burn your little skin, though. What are you eating? It smells it like dill pickle chips. Is that what it is? 
Yeah. Hi, Bench. Look, I got some chips. Mm-hmm. Right here. I got me more. Oh, yeah. Okay, I feel better. I was going to tan. I don't think I can do all that. I'm going to put some lash serum on. I'm going to try this. It's the Divi Scalp Serum. It's supposed to support thicker hair. It smells like super minty. Oh, it's like tingling. I like that. While I'm here, I'm also going to do some brow serum. I want to tell you guys some baby names that's in my list right now because I'm non-stop thinking about it. Most of you guys know I've been obsessed with the name Moon. However, it's a no-go for Garrick. He's always been like, no, but it's always going to be at the top of my list. I love that name. For girl names, I love the name Penny. How freaking cute is that, Penny? I love the name... Goldie. Goldie is like at the top of my list too. These are all names that we probably won't use, but I love them so much. Nova for a girl. I think that that is beautiful. I only have a few boy names that are like my go-to if we're gonna have a boy. But girl names, I have like so many girl names. Um, I love the name Sunday, but I feel like another YouTuber recently named their kid Sunday. I don't know, but I feel like that is like the most precious name literally ever. Like a little Sunday girl. Um, I love the name Honey. Honey is adorable. I, I think I love it so much because we don't, we're, we're not really like a family that uses the name Honey. I feel like a lot of older people call their like significant others Honey. We don't do that, so I just, I die for the name Honey for a little girl. It's so cute. All of the other ones we might use, so. But I keep adding to my list, so I'll keep you guys in the loop. I think I'm gonna put more of this on. This is like tingling my head and it feels so good. Love this stuff. If it works, that'll be great. I already feel better. I haven't been able to do any of this in so long. I would love to put some lotion on too. My grandma actually sent me this. It's for like after sun, but the smell is so good. I, get, I, I don't even care what it's for. It's like the most moisturizing and just smells like the beach. Like you've just been laying on the beach all day. We should be doing that right now. Hi baby. I love you. Love you. What's this? That is brow serum. It's to make your brows, yeah those, it's to make them grow. I don't want it to grow. You don't want it to grow? Yeah. Oh, okay, back to the bed I go if I can like feel it coming on. I'm glad I at least like got something done. Well, this is where I'll be until further notice. There's another storm coming in like the next few hours so I'm gonna hurry and get like my work done that I need to because the power might go out. I really, oh, hopefully if I can get anything done. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming along these videos, even though I'm like dying in them. But if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not already. I like this pickle. You like that pickle? <laughs> Click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And see you in the next one. If you just hold